Hello, hello, hello. Problem 208. Coupled oscillator. In this case, two identical pendulums are attached to each other. This pendulum, length L, mass M at the end, and below that is an identical pendulum, length L, same mass M. I am going to shake the top in horizontal direction. Since this has two components, two coupled oscillators, there must be two normal modes, or as we often say, two resonance frequencies. In normal modes, all objects move with exactly the same frequency. However, they are either in phase or they are out of phase. And so here you see, in this case, the two possibilities. Right here, you see the situation that they are in phase. This object and this object stop at the same time on the right side and again later at the same time on the left side. So they are in phase with each other. Here, however, the two are out of phase. When the top one stops on the left, the bottom one stops on the right. And now comes the question. I call this frequency here, this normal mode frequency, omega minus, and I call this one omega plus, because this is a higher frequency than that. And I want you to calculate what omega minus is and what omega plus is. If you prefer not to work in radians per second, but in seconds, capital T, that's fine too. Let me stress that the solution that you will find is only accurate or close to being accurate for small angles. In other words, the picture that I have drawn here is not very practical. I just show you this as an example what out of phase means. But this direction is by no means a small angle. So the solution will be small angle solutions. In addition, I want you to calculate what for this frequency, omega minus, the ratio A2 over A1 is. And I want you to do the same for this frequency. I want you to calculate what the ratio is of A2 over A1. The period of this pendulum alone piece of cake. The period of this pendulum alone, also piece of cake. 
You may remember that for a single pendulum, the frequency, the resonance frequency, is only determined by L, and of course by G, but not by M. So you may think now that this M doesn't have to be the same as that M, because if this M were different from that one, this pendulum would still have the same frequency as that one. However, in this case, that they are coupled, it is required that the two are the same. If they were not the same, trust me, there is a solution, of course, but it becomes a headache. <laughs> I won't even think of giving you such a problem. Is this a difficult problem? Yeah, I would think so. Would I have been able to solve this when I was in high school? No way around it. Not even close. However, I will give you a hint. It may be that something like this I cover in one of my 94 MIT course lectures. Maybe in 801, maybe in 802, maybe in 803. I can't wait for your solutions. It's very hard for me to predict how many solutions will be correct. Because that all depends on how much time you want to spend on it. But I'm sure we will get at least two correct solutions. One from Oregon and one from Keith Norman. All right, all the best, and try it, don't give up too easily.